Okay, I've never done this before and it seems like a really dumb idea. Oh look, there's a blue dog. Anyhow, I don't know if you hold the thing like that to do a selfie. Why would anybody ever do a selfie? Does you really want everybody to know what we look like? Anyway, here at the, uh, the homestead, this is the... Uh, yeah, let's turn on some of the solar-powered LED lighting in here and show you some, some bread. There you go. This is our new addition propane fired slash wood cook stove. Anyway, oh yes, and in the world's largest pantry, at least in southern Oregon, we have a refrigerator that's made out of a chest freezer with a small digital controller. 3.3 Celsius just right this particular one is running uh, 380 watt hours a day the other one I have in back is 260 watt hours a day now that's just really good if you've got a small solar system we want to run one as a freezer and one as a refrigerator and the combined for the two is 1.0 one zero I think just slightly over a kilowatt a day and we have gravity feed water here if we need it on the ranch and that is the garden pretty important thing to have a big fence like that if if uh, you live where there's lots of critters we have Olympic deer around here they will challenge anything less than a a full eight-foot fence. I'll take you up the hill here. We just put this in so the garden is this one up here is brand new and this fencing is new and we had to cut a lot of trees down for the solar system. Well, there's always another one behind that one. The kid said, uh, Dad, you want to mark the trees you want to keep? I said, you don't understand. This is a scorched earth policy. And then my wife said, but the pines are mine. Well, the sugar pines are hers. These pondies are going to come down because some of them are challenging our winter solstice light for the solar system. Anyway, here's the, the garden and fencing. Uh, gates so you can bring the tractor in. This up here on the hill there is going to be more orchard, possibly grapes, berries. This box is 50, 52 feet long. It's going to have a, a Quonset hut type greenhouse over it. And then that's the solar shed. It's solar in two ways. It, it's a, like a giant coal frame. It's also a place where I go in and do Bible study and prayer. It uh, will allow us to bring some of the plants in this fall when it's cold and continue and extend the growing season. So right now it is a huge hothouse. And in the back, it's got a closet, insulated closet, that runs the house, this, the solar power for the house is in here. And I'll come in here and close the door so I can keep it cool. And let's see, there's uh, two cheap energy charge controllers. They're pulse width mod modulation. Don't have the money for an MPPT as yet. We've got 610 watts on the roof of one of the buildings out there. Anyway, this is a cheap way to do a disconnect. That was $11. It's got a pull-out type shunt that just a disconnect. And then if you use the XO style square D, they're rated at low volt. So uh, much, much cheaper. That whole box with bolt breakers was under $30. 
and another one here that goes to the batteries. This one here is generator in and out to the inverter house, inverter out to house. Got on eBay a uh, Trace 1512 and uh, I paid $500 for it. It was new, unused, an uh, older model. There's a small shunt. It just gives me to be able to tell the differential between what's going into the batteries and what's actually being produced. And then, of course, there's the trimetric on the wall that, uh, let's see, we're at 7.7 .7 amps going into the battery. And we've got 7.7. .7. So the house isn't pulling very much right now. And then we switch this over. I was at 71% this morning. Over 90% now in the afternoon. And there are four L16s. Uh, I know I don't have, I really should have a battery box in this. This whole room is vented. I have a computer fan right here. And it's, uh, oh what, uh, two and a half watts at 12 volts. It just doesn't pull anything. But it pulls nice cold air through the floor. And of course the gratings that keep the mouse out. The floor is insulated. I'll have to build a box over this, but right now I don't have any gas issues at all in this room. It's a very small room and it's vented very, very well. And this is the the growing side. It's like a giant coal frame and we'll be bringing plants in this fall place to sit and pray in the morning. It's amazing how warm it is. It could be 30 degrees outside and uh, it's still 65 degrees in here. Of course right now it feels like 165 in the afternoon. This is a really cool light. Uh, it was like three dollars on eBay. It's a SMD LED. It's about 400 lumens at four and a half watts. That is amazing. Just a little light for this uh, greenhouse. And then I can pan down here over to the house. Built the house about 20 years ago, 21 years ago, my wife and I. All here from uh, lumber right here on the property. We've got a wood miser sawmill and we just drop a tree and I make boards and nail them together. Only thing it costs is nails and gas. And then there's the solar panels, have some shading on the upper ones. This is not the permanent location. These are very temporary. They're not even pointing true south yet. There's three Solex down below, all monocrystalline, and then the four upper ones are Renogy monocrystalline, 610 watts total. And we are off-grid running the house. And yeah, you have to live on what, what you make. Uh, we can make about, uh, oh, Three, a good 3.25k day possibly in the summer maybe three and a half on a good day with this system uh, but in the winter time the whole system was designed for a 1980 watt day that's uh, 1.9 kilowatt and that's not a lot of power uh, but the you know the cost of the system was a couple thousand dollars and I did all the work myself and the biggest cost is, you know, what it's going to take you to live on 2K a day. Can you do it? Well, we have been. We went from 45 kilowatts a day down to 7 when we made the jump. And I'll show you, the, if there's any time left uh, or battery left on this phone, I'll show you the military diesel generator that we've got that's really quite a fuel sipper. It just uh, barely uses any fuel at all. I'll pause this for a moment. Okay, I think I'm back. It's a little uh, wife's beauty salon here, and another outside bedroom, and uh, a parking garage. This side is for the bee, and this side my wife's uh, MG Midget. You have to duck your head in here. I hit my head a lot in here. And that is an MOP. D16 that was converted by the military with a Yanmar diesel. And I've seen these things, well right now they go for $1,900 uh, on, uh, online. This particular one had a $4,000 price tag. I bought it from a miner 
for eight hundred dollars I think he sold it to me for eight hundred because it had a bad three-phase breaker and I swapped the breaker out and it runs just beautiful it's got 91 hours on it there's a guy up in a story on an off-grid cabin and he claims that he, at light loads he got 16 hours out of a gallon I don't doubt it I've put three hours on it total and I can use about an inch out of the one small tank there these are cool because they have a belly tank and then it's got a little float switch in the upper tank and it just automatically replenishes itself uh, 24 volt starter uh, it's a 3k output but the beautiful thing about this is because of the type of switching that it has you can actually make 100 percent of the power out of one 110 volt circuit you have to pull the screws on the lid and then right here in the corner there's a, a switch rotary switch in here and when you put that on 110 volt only it'll put 100 percent of the power to that one leg and keep the generator balanced or if you were to try to do that on a one of these cheap generators you'd, you'd burn it up anyway i think that's probably all this is just a simple do-it-yourself uh, off-grid solar application, a radical minimalist decision, really, to try to live on uh, 2K a day in the wintertime, which is all I will be able to produce. And it's yet to be seen. Usually, there's eight months of gray sky and storm. We'll see how much we got to use that generator. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.